I just want to smell this. So that was that was a mistake. God, God it's horrible. Got some buzz balls here. They which look is, delicious. Uh, this is for like alcoholics that like the they take baths and they think it's a bath bomb. <laughs> You guys overreacted. It's actually kind of tasty. They, they, they throw it in there. They pour it in like it's like it's bubbles. It like, comes in like a little box yeah. with some poopery. What if a Vietnam? Did you taste it? You taste it? I don't want it. That's it's horrible. It, it, Honestly, it they disgusting. overreacted. It's kind of tasty. Take a little sip. Take a time. It's so like a, what it's if, like a jolly rancher. Tasty. What, I'm sure it's full of what sugar. What if a Vietnam vet saw Devin with that and he thought it was a grenade and shot him in the head? <laughs> Pretty wild. Yeah. yeah, dude. What if that happened? <laughs> that'd be nuts, dude, that'd be bro. insane. Dude, that'd be, what if that happened? That'd be crazy. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. For, well, we'll talk about it most of the episode, folks. But first off, rest in peace, Orrin yeah. James Simpson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, died of a broken heart. Um, Brad died of a broken heart. Dude, losing your wife, that's... Uh, <laughs> it does. It It has an effect on people. It took years, but he really yeah, yeah. come to it. Yeah. He was fucking fast as hell. Mm-hmm. He was great in those uh, Naked Gun movies. Physical yeah. comedy. And, but he had a bit of a temper. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I think, you know, he was so good in the Naked Gun movies. I think whatever happened that night, it was like a Pratt fault. It was just oh, he like was doing a, He slipped. I think he stayed in character, yeah. I think he was making steaks. Yeah. He was holding the knife. He was chopping. He was cutting the steaks up. Mm. Then he slipped and Tried to do a Jerry Lewis act out. And yeah. He, but he, like, cut her head off. But, you know, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll move on. We'll get back to that. Joey, we have some incredible uh, news about uh, the it's guy. It's not that, that incredible. Well, it's, it's the the serial killer. We, we now know, actually, I think, the, that guy that broke into your place was the serial killer. So I used to be 95% sure that it was him just based on the location and all the facts. And then I saw his face. And then I, there's pictures of the serial killer online. Like, they looked extremely similar. So that's 95% sure. My detective finally got back to me on the tenth. <laughs> My detective, and she said, "Hey, she what's she me. look like, dude? I've never met her, but uh, what? No, I, I, she wasn't there at the station. I'll tell what an her. Asshole. So she's a grade three <laughs> detective. It, what's a grade three? What does that mean? Yeah. They are senior detectives who assign other detectives, like actual detectives, to cases. Uh, so if somebody gets killed in your district, then you're the one. He's like, Rodriguez, send, you're on that. You know, sure, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but she calls me while I was at the cafe working, and she just said, hey, could you come down to the station? And I was like, playing it cool. I was like, oh, I don't know if I have time. In my head, I'm like, I was so fucking mad. I was like, gee, of course. I, you go, gee. <laughs> I was like, I, this is my dream. Oh, gee. Uh, I can't. I'm so excited about Golly. it. Golly. Yeah. And then, uh, but so I just said, like, ah, oh, well, I mean, this kind of short notice, but wait, you, I'll come down right now. And then so I went to the station. You go, hey, I'm not a loser, but I'll be there right, right away. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot going on. I, I don't have a morbid curiosity. I don't watch murder footage all you day. Go, <laughs> you go, yeah, give me one second. Let me just tell these Filipinos I'll be back. <laughs> But so, um, I go to the station. By the way, have you been to the... What's the last time you drove by the station on 6th Street? On 6th Street? The, yeah. The Central. A lot. I didn't know there was a... The Central Division. On 1st? No, 6th. There's a few divisions. The HQ is on 1st. On 6th is like the Central. I drive by them here and there. But so... I like to... I bring them donuts. I like to say hi. I love what they do. I love their work. (laughs) Yeah, I call the cop just to say hi. Yeah. Just, I I want one. You just go, hey. Hey, how you guys doing? I give them lemonade. I guess you guys need anything. Mm-hmm. I give him a plate, a tin foil plate. I go, it's, it's been in the oven all day for you. <laughs> Connor's a Blue Lives Matter guy. Mm-hmm. We, we all are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. it's a Blue Lives podcast. I like detectives. I'm not. I I'm not love Blue the cops. Mm-hmm. I love the police. I love. Mm-hmm. The yeah, police. I think they're cool. I love them so much because they also they helped OJ. They they botched the whole thing. They mm-hmm. sure did. Furman, all of them. I was looking for contaminating Furman. the evidence. They were just a bunch of bumbling idiots. The Keystone cop showed up and and they helped OJ get off. Anyway, back to the you, there was a serial killer in your home. So my detective goes, "Go to the station to your left. There's a whole wing for detectives. <laughs> just walk into the wing." <laughs> It is crazy. The podcast has allowed us to not really think about how crazy that is. Yeah. There was a serial killer in 99%. In I'm 99% Joseph's sure. place. I would when, actually when, like to hear people's take on this. If you are affiliated with law enforcement or if you know, if you're, maybe you, you work for like a DA, a local DA, and you understand how these uh, investigations go, please tell me, because I'm confused about part of this. So anyways, get to the station. Go to my left. The, 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 the detective wing. Yeah, yeah. I get there, and like some dude's just like, what are you here for? And I'm like, my detective told me to come at 11. I'm, you know, I was 50 minutes late. But I was like, hey, 
where's my detective? And he goes, well, she is actually not going to be available. She's got called into like a serious thing. Mm. Baby and in the then microwave. The, my grade three got yeah. called away. And then, but my ma- the, the actual detective on the case comes out and he seemed excited. He was like, not excited, but he seemed like, Oh, they're yeah. They're, they're he yeah, seemed yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I, I, I've kind of want to see, you know, what happens here. He seemed like he was interested in what I, I could say. Of course. Of course. So then he brings me into this room and he sits me down and he explains the process. I'm going to show you a lineup of pictures of criminals and I want you to pick the guy that you saw in your apartment. Mm-hmm. It was like NWA and then Jared Powell. It was, <laughs> it was five <laughs> Chinese men and Jared Powell. <laughs> now, it was all black dudes, but the weird part was one of the black dudes. It was the, <laughs> it go, was the COVID go. guy at the end of the bed. That was one of the pictures. Wait, what? What? It was cock out, the COVID guy. <laughs> Uh, Joey sees the line and he goes, yeah, it's, it's all of them, actually. <laughs> like, can we put them all in jail? I need. <laughs> a bunch of confetti comes from the ceiling. But no, so well, I look at the pictures, and one of them is obviously Jared Powell. Yeah. Not like the guy, I don't know for sure. The serial killer. Right, Like, but yeah. here's the thing. So I don't know if they, One of them was obviously him, same face. Like, it, what, it was Jared Powell in the picture. Yeah. So I don't know. So here's my thinking is like, would there ever be a situation where a detective would show somebody a lineup where the guy suspected of the crime that happened to them is not in the lineup at all? I think they do. So, so like, so, to, tri- to see I, if I it's real, like, because they know you psychologically want it to be Jared. Right. Jared. But then, so, what, they, why, what does that prove, though? They're like, oh, I'm just going to pick Jared Powell. I don't know. I mean, they, they, listen, they're willing to put any black guy away. They go, hmm, so he's racist. Should we offer him <laughs> yeah. a job? Or? I bet Denzel Washington and Sam Jackson were in the lineup, too. There's more in Freeman. <laughs> 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 Jamie Foxx. You, yeah. you go, it was this one. They're like, it was Digimon Hansu <laughs> that broke into your apartment. <laughs> But so I picked the guy, and then I'm, I was sitting there confused because I've now online seen pictures of Jared Powell, who's become like a famous guy in L.A. Mm-hmm. So I, I've circled the, uh, Jared Powell, and then I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, can I ask you a question to the detective? And I was like, was that guy in the picture, was that Jared Powell? And he's like, well, we can't really say. We don't. We can't say. Yeah. yeah. And then he, he goes, that's, no, he, he's, he goes by J-Dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about JP? He goes, how well? <laughs> well, his street name was J-Dog. <laughs> uh, but then, so, I, he, he, he's being vague. And there are a lot of good of reasons course. why they can't share information on the case, so I understand. Uh, so I try to give him another okay. question. They're, being, they're just being cocksuckers. Know, There's just no good fan. reason. What, what's the reason? I could, like, uh, you know, hurt the investigation or something. How? Well, what do you go do after this? I could tell, um, I could go on a fucking podcast. And, <laughs> 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 and do what? And uh, reveal all this information. Uh, uh, <laughs> About uh, the the investigation, yeah. that'd be who would do that? I mean, I'm like, even though I signed a piece of paper that said I would never talk about this, who, who would do that? <laughs> Did you really sign a paper? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Listen, uh, if legend. these guys want to play hardball and they're not going to bring yeah, me right. into the investigation, <laughs> either info. bring me into the investigation or keep me out. Yeah, but you can't make me sign stuff and then have best, uh, you know, the best of both worlds for you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> bring you into the investigation. It's true. They can't. They can't use him for help. They can't have their cake and eat it too. Yeah, I, it Joe's was, like Dan Bilzerian in the Mandalay Bay shooting right now. <laughs> He's like, "Give me the gun. I'm on the case." It was my birthday, and I was thinking about going. Like, hey guys, can I have a badge? Can I wear a badge for just this? <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> and then, uh, but so I go my my second less obvious question, where I was like, "I'm I'm going to make this less specific, so that you could, if you wanted to." You could hint at the truth without actually, you know, being liable. Right. So I was like, do you, okay, let me ask you this. Do you suspect the man in the picture is associated with any other crimes? And he was, and then he sat there and he was all fucking flustered. The guy was like stuttering and muttering the entire time. <laughs> They're idiots. Yeah. They're idiots, these guys. And right, right, right away, he could tell that I was like testing him. Because the first thing I said to him, he brings, I, I meet him, I shake his hand. I'm like, uh, and he's like, hi, I'm the detective on your case. And I said, oh, are you investigating the home invasion? Because I wanted him to be like, no, I'm investigating the homicides. Uh, you know what I mean? Dude, it's all that chess you're playing. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, dude, you're I'm playing chess with him. 
So then he, yeah. so he like fucking gets all flustered. He's like, uh, let me go check the files. Aww. He goes, let me check the files. He wouldn't, he couldn't even just answer that. He goes, oh, I'm getting stressed out. He just kills a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a stress ball to him. Hey, where's a, where's a neck? Is there a neck around? Is there a black neck? <laughs> my knees are right <laughs> get, get this tension out of my knee. <laughs> He goes, okay, I feel better. I feel better. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you say? What'd you ask? His veins are bobbing in his neck. Ah! He looks like Dennis Reynolds. His eyes are... <laughs> All right, I'm back. What was your question? <laughs> so uh, he goes, he like gets flustered, walks away, then he comes back with a big stack of papers, and he goes, oh, this this is what I'm investigating this this year. And the top page is like, like break-in stuff. But, and then I was like... That's a big stack. What else is in that stack? But he yeah, wouldn't yeah. let me touch it. Mm. So I'm like, this is fucking weird. And then later on, I asked this sort of question. I'm like, Can, is he a uh, straight for other crimes? And he's like, he goes, well, I know wh- who you think is. <laughs> oh, my God. He starts doing this. He goes, Never I, have I ever. He goes, I, well, I know who you think the criminal is. And the guy who you think it is committed four murders. Does oh, he not yeah, know yeah. that that this was in the news? That we all know he's who the great Jared Powell is. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to pl- like do a poker face kind of thing, and I don't really. I would love if we had somebody that listened, or if you listen to this pod and you know somebody who's a detective or something. Yeah, I don't understand please, why they're being so weird with you. Come on Reddit or like message me and try to explain what you think about this. Like the, the, they, they should they should feel or. Why, why? Like, like you, 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 you're you're owed knowing. You you deserve to know whether. Because yeah. what if you think that guy's still out there? You want to know too. if the guy is. I locked said up. that too. I said that was the next thing after his like weird answer. I go, how about this? Could you tell me if you know for a fact that it's not him? Because for peace of mind, because if I know, you know them. I'm worried about I, I need security measures because he might come back. Right, because you need you you tell him you go. Listen, I was rather nice to him. The guy might think he has a place to stay at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he left through the front door. Yeah, I let him leave through the front door. <laughs> he broke in, and I let him leave through the front door. <laughs> he used my restroom. <laughs> what if he just claimed squatters' rights and just stayed? <laughs> <laughs> he kills you, then claims squatters' rights. No, he just was my roommate now, and he refused yeah. to leave. And he, every night at, like, 3 a.m., he goes, I'm going out to Skid Row. Just don't even worry <laughs> about it. Or he kills Joey. Wears, Comes back covered in blood. <laughs> or he kills Joey, wears the skin, learns his schedule, and we go to the gym with this guy every single day. <laughs> oh, my God. What if it's me? What if We're I'm like, JP right now? Are you JP? <laughs> We're like, did Joey grow, like, seven inches? And... <laughs> Maybe that's why I bench more than Connor, because I'm JP. Hey, whoa, come on, <laughs> This is crazy. We had a big debate on the last Patreon about like oh like two twenty five, and he then, hit it. He hit it, and then he, he did do it. And then he Connor did tried. It. To, Joey did it. Connor, did you see what Connor? What happened to him, Devin? He when he tried it, it? no. I didn't. Devin. Oh, I thought he did. Oh, never. He didn't do it. Thank God Connor's honest because he could have just fucking got I away. I thought I remember it. Connor <laughs> lifting. I don't know. I, I got pretty close. You guys are always wasn't up that to, close. You guys it was are always sad. lifting. It was a sad, sad <laughs> attempt. <laughs> Giving you props. No, no, I had to, had to do. But, but, uh, no, Devin over here is RBG, Ruth Bitter Ginsburg. He's with a two pound weight. <laughs> it's true. But, uh, you know, I'm not shitting blood like you are every day. Oh, man. A shot glass of blood, apparently. <laughs> Joey, 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 Joey told us the other day he's shitting shot glasses of blood. That's actually not and a he joke. He said it so casually. We were like, what? And then the rest eh. of the day, I was like, I was worried about you and it's nervous. Too bad shot and glass. I was incredibly worried. And then I texted John both of you, and your guys are like, no, I do. I shit blood too. No, everybody no, everybody no, here's shitting I'm not blood except me. Shitting blood. No, There's my asshole bleeds. So why does your ass bleed? Because I'm on the toilet constantly. <laughs> what the fuck? Because I'm an alcoholic and you're, I'm shitting my brains out 24 7. No, and I sometimes your asshole rips from yeah. shitting. That's yeah, insane. dumbass. <laughs> Live a little bit, retard. <laughs> They ever take a shit before, pal? I, I literally text, I text Connor. I, I text Connor and Devin separately, and I'm like worried about you. I'm like, what's going on? And Connor's like, no, I shit blood too. And I text Devin. No, Devin's no, like, no. sometimes I wipe and I, sh- I find blood on the toilet paper and shit. Yes, that because your yeah. asshole right? is yes. ripping. No, yeah. I, that's not, that doesn't. I shit more than all of you. I know. I'm actually of all people here. I'm surprised you're yeah, not just you free know what we're asshole. talking about. <laughs> I'm surprised you're like a 13 year old who just got her period for the first time. I, I haven't. Leaking I don't. Blood I have a, I've had big hemorrhoids too, dude. Yeah, me like, too. Like popcorn hemorrhoids. Yeah. I have hemorrhoids. That I've won. I've won. I've won hemorrhoid. I've named it. 
What's its name? Jared. Rufus. Rufus. Jared Bell. It's Jared Bell. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't. I don't like you pretending you don't know about ass blood. I've had ass blood in my okay, life. Okay, so shut I, the fuck no, up. But you're acting like it's a normal thing. We're. N- it's not. pretty. No- Here's it's what's not, not normal, normal for All Joey to say. It's not ass. normal for Joey to a shot, say. What he a shot glass is crazy. A shot glass, a shot glass, glass is, crazy. is crazy. That's insane. And, and I picture. I picture. Yeah, it. I turn the water and it's like <laughs> it's spider webbing. Yeah. Are you it lying? Does. I'm not kidding. It actually does. <laughs> Are I'm you talking, lying? Like the water is red. Like it's and and when I when I wa- <laughs> oh my God. is there like more viscous blood and then more like li- is it like no it just looks like like it looks like if you cut your palm and just let it like drip in the toilet. What if Jared, but I'm what if Jared now, by Powell the way. turned into Osmosis Jones and, and he's, he's reeking in your hot asshole yeah. and he just keeps shooting your hemorrhoids? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, where's Skid Row with this? Bites my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, that stopped. Dude, that stopped. But but when it was happening, when it was hey, happening, uh, more like know. Skid Mark Row. <laughs> oh, very good. Hey, oh, so. hey, hey, what if this was a grenade? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Dude, what if like a Vietnam vet just came in here and fucking shot Devin in the fucking head because I was grenade? Dude, we're fucking brilliant. Subscribe to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash hate watch podcast. Yeah, these are only free for so long. I mean, you can't, can't get all After these. After a while, we put them behind a wall. But no, no, no. So we got to get finished that pal story. Yeah, but, so but, so no, no, hang on, though. I will. This is crazy. I would wipe it. And there would it was it would it looks like you take toilet paper and you dipped it in red paint. <laughs> Joey, are you serious? It would be dripping blood. You keep like, saying this so casually. I'm, though. I'm not That's like That's insane. I'm not queasy about this kind of stuff. I need you to take a photo next time and send it to me. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to, but I was like, "That's crazy." No, 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 I'm be so you are you? I wouldn't give a shit. Did it stop? Yeah, it stopped. Okay. And I bought a squatty potty, and it's smooth. <laughs> I've been eating fiber. It was the angle of your ass. I'm That's taking smooth shit, dude. You I can't fiber, smooth. right? I can't yeah, shit. Fiber. I can't shit without a squatty potty at this point. I just I've been that's so dumb. Bad, Why, that's a bad that. bad it's, road to go down. No, no, no. It's, no, it's, it's not. It's the Everybody most efficient way to you look shit. Like fucking should, Spider Man on the toilet. That's how you're retarded. supposed to shit. That's what no, Asian people have it fuck, right. No, they're yes, fucking they weirdos, dude. No. They shit in holes in the ground. Either way, that's, been what, there. that's what men were doing before fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, before they course. were civilized and they Asian had Asian people. Yeah, believe them. Yeah. Dude, I'm just saying every time I go backpacking, that's the most efficient shit I've ever taken in my entire life. With your knees up? Yeah, with your knees up, you just squat gay. down. Yeah, but then but then you become the <laughs> cocksucker gay. that everywhere you are, you like can't take a normal shit. No, you can if you have I to. I can, but it's not as easy. It's not ideal, yeah. My body's getting set up now. My body's used to the squatting position. I, I bet this, it is, dude. Th- this contraption <laughs> just cured an internal bleed of Fucking mine. I, I will not have one bad word will about you, it. Will you stop using it now that it's cured? No, no. I, Fuck it. You got a squatty potty around your neck like a like a neck pillow on a yeah. plane. You're like traveling. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, man, once I get enough money, I'm going to, like, make a, a Chinese suitcase. toilet. Yeah, you have a suitcase. It's, just, it's like a handle that you can put on your squatty uh, potty. I take great shits. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm, I've I've been around a lot of households that have them. My mom used to have one when I was Yours growing up, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't get it. I'm like, get this fucking yeah. booster seat Damn. away from the I toilet. Start shitting no, a shark glass worth of blood, and then well, you will that's fucking... your own issue. You keep doing bang bangs. You're upset. You get pizza and ramen in this within a 20 minute span. You're shitting blood because your asshole's being ripped also, wide open by like I'm sure like those shits that feel yeah. like knives coming out of your ass no it doesn't hurt well it's a taquito. that's the weird just it doesn't hurt at all there's no it. pain when it happens i really yeah well there's no like nerve endings in your fucking asshole that deep you know what i mean Not here. Here. John, John your, would your boyfriend that. wore my leather <laughs> <laughs> okay last thing on this is that i also <laughs> I love when you do shit like that last thing i'm gonna talk about with my asshole is, so i was saying like roughly a shot glass per shit of blood that makes, yeah. Is that true? That makes I, no sense. Well, I'll take a picture. If it ever happens again, God forbid, I hope it doesn't, but I'll take a picture, and everybody will be shocked. They'll say, he, it's more than a shot glass. He's, he yeah. was underestimating. But, um, what the fuck? But then I looked it up. Do you know, you know how much blood you could lose before you two, actually die? Two, two pints. Oh, before no. you lose consciousness. Before you lose consciousness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 64 ounces. So I could, take, I could use 64 of that. 
in one day and it's not still live. it's not now there's no way i think you're conflating it because the tissue absorbs <laughs> it it also depends on size Wait, the tissue absorb it and also on. you drop any you drop any blood in water it's gonna look it's gonna look like more than it hold actually on. i like how joey's logic here is he's planning on this <laughs> happening all, like all the time he's like i'm fucking i'm golden he goes i'm in the fucking clear i need to be doing that 64 times a day to die retard <laughs> the cancer will eat my brain but listen <laughs> He goes, yeah, it's once a day. Shot glass full of blood from my ass. It's like the movie Speed where, like, instead of staying under, like, 80 miles per hour, it's like, I have to stay under 64 shits. Dude, which at my rate would be nearly impossible. That 64 shits is, like, maybe a week for me. No, I'm talking I about shit, like, three I or four times a day. I could do that in one day. I could, no, 64 in one day to kill me. Oh, got it, got it, got it. But anyways, where did I leave off on pal? Uh, pal? Oh, dude, trick questions and stuff. And then, so I said, like, can you, can you tell me that if it's not him? And he goes, like, he was, like, all skittish again. And he goes, well, you know, it's, like, proving a negative. You know, you can't really do that. Also, you can, though. If you know where Powell was on the day where the crime happened to me, you can prove that that it wasn't him. You can rule it yeah. out. So I was just like, oh, yeah, sure. And I gave a break and laugh. But so, listen, I now am 99% sure it was JP in my apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, if you I'm know. I'm right there with you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I 100% yeah. think so, yeah. too. Now and if, if you guys saw his face, you'd be, like, even more confident. But, again, if you're an expert on this stuff or if you know somebody that you can ask, please ask and get their opinion. Because I'm a little bit confused still on why they would, if it's if that would ever happen, that they would show me a lineup without the criminal. And then why show me one with the killer? I, that's it. Anyways. Because just, he's obviously the guy. Yeah, he was. He it's obviously possible. he 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 was invading. He he would break into places. Yeah, his final kill was a breaking and entering. Think about yeah. how rare a break in is in the first place, it's and then you rare. find out that right down the street there was a serial killer that also broke into identical. other places. And it's not racist. I'm not saying like, oh, they all, you know, it was black guy and that was a black guy. <laughs> same exact build, same exact height, same very similar looking weight, and f the face is almost identical. According to like what I saw, he had a mask like on his chin. Yeah, but I was like, God damn! Wait, in the picture, he had a mask on no, his no, chin. No, no, oh, okay. when I saw right, him, right, in right, my right. Yeah, but anyways, no. By the way, I had, I, I told my father in law the story three times before he could grasp what I was telling him. I was like, No, no, the guy like climbed over the balcony into my friend's apartment, and uh, he, my friend was just in bed. It sounds like bullshit. And he was like, Wait, so your friend wasn't home? And I'm like, I just said he was home in bed. They're like, Okay. But, so this is security footage? I'm like, no, he was inside his apartment. They locked eyes. He goes, yeah. this is your friend? And I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. It's crazy. People can't fathom a home invasion. Yeah. Until I fucking do it. Till <laughs> I no, it's true, though. Like, it's a crazy thought. But, like, Joey just is Joey. So the he's casually, Joey's casually shitting fucking, like, two liters of blood a day. He stabs you. I'm like, I could, I could 64 more of those. He's pounds. watching people break into his place, and he's just like, who gives a shit? He's like, he, like, looks at the guy. He goes, like, help yourself. He's, like, ordering Postmates. Joey's, like, an anomaly here. The fact that it happened to Joey's the reason he's alive because yeah. Joey's Joey. Yeah. If it was yeah. anybody else that was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right in the head, but instead he was like, this guy, this guy is will be me someday. I will say the detective, the one time he seemed like he was like, hey, this guy's pretty cool. He was like, so wait, the guy, he was, you were home, right? And, you, and he's like, so you like what? And he's like kind of trying to suss out if I was scared yeah. or what. Yeah. And he's like, so you confronted him, and I was like, no, I was like, I was just laying in my bed and. I, I, you know, like I looked at him and he just took off. And then I had to explain that I just stayed in bed and my friend made <laughs> convince me to call the cops. Yeah. You're, like, You're kind of sick, brother. <laughs> I think I think you've got a lawsuit on your hands. I think you, you definitely yeah. sue. Oh, 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 big time. If I sue, wanted to sue, sue, sue your apartment, sue your apartment. Fuck them, dude. And get, then you get so much fucking make money. them give you the TV that you broke, dude. Put it, uh, in the, yeah, put it like, in the lawsuit. Yeah. As, like, as like a bonus. Yeah. yeah. Be like, you yeah. can you can, you can can knock off this much money if you give me you that go. fucking TV. <laughs> and that dog statue, you cocksucker. You go, give me TV. I want, that and also, I want my own statue. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but he goes, and then I said, well, okay, so I'll let, I'll let you guys get back to work and stuff. But it, if I hear back about this ever, when will it be? And he goes, the DA would be contacting you. Do the DA himself. Or like whatever. Dude, I, like I don't Batman, know. Dude. He's, this uh, kicks ass. Yeah, no. I'm like, a, I'll be in like Commissioner Gordon yeah. or doing biz on yeah. a rooftop. But then so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but then it's so, a bad signal, but it's a shot glass full of blood <laughs> <laughs> shining on the night sky. And Joe's like, they need me. <laughs> but so, and then because they'd want me to, if if I ever find out, he's saying it's because they'd want me to be a witness in in the trial. Oh, that's gonna be so great. I would love that if that happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna oh. fucking put a lavalier mic on you. And- can the, the, we can we can, can go? Can we can go? We, yeah, we can go we watch can we it. Go? Like yeah, yeah. We can go watch it. The best would be if like the Can we film it though? What if no. the defense No, 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 no. That's well scary. sometimes they film it's Well Jays do courtroom sketches. Sometimes they do film <laughs> though. Like, like the actual court films. Yeah. Like that's why the Coburger shit's all right. on TV. Right. That'd be pretty incredible if we get to go to that and then we just splice in the actual like, court footage and then, the, and then and <clears> then in between, like if we get to dismiss for like a break, we go record really quickly. Yeah. yeah. In the bathroom. We talk. We yeah. Say, yeah, in the bathroom. We're like, dude, he fucking did it. He's gonna kill Joey. If he ever escapes, he's gonna fucking slit Joey's fucking door. Yeah. Kill him. If they yeah. try to stop you, you filming, you one A. It's one A. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a public yeah. place. But um <laughs> Captain Jack comes with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, fuck, it's fucking him. It's fuck it's him. Yeah. Dude, we should fill the courtroom with every hate watch MVP. Yeah, yeah. It'll be great. Yeah. By the way, uh, speaking of hate watch stuff, uh Spots the butler, he uh, I, he's losing his mind. What, what happened? What did he do? He sent me a video the other night of he goes pre, he goes good hate watch material and I click the video. It's a it's a guy walking into a liquor store and getting shot like forty <laughs> times, like, like like a snuff film, like <laughs> brutality to the max, like something that we could never ever watch. That I was, I felt horrible for having just watched. The guy's yelling on the ground like, God, ah, ah, and he's getting, and he's, he's dead. On the, and the guy's still unloading into his, and his legs are moving and shit. And I go, ha ha, yeah, we can't watch this. And then the next day he goes, yeah, I was drunk. I shouldn't have said that. I, Spats is like, hey man, great hate watch material. It's the opening scene from RoboCop. Dude, I'm not kidding. It was like, it was insane. That's the thing with butlers is that you see them. <laughs> <laughs> you see them on the job, and they have the tux on. But and who knows what's going on inside? When they go home, that, when they're off the clock, yeah. they're they're well, you see up how to no good. Up he is. He's so buttoned up. And he's fucking full of rage, but he's holding it together because <laughs> yeah, it's his yeah. job. Yeah, he's he got to be. Loose. He's got to be calm and Dude, tempered. I love spots. I miss spots. Yeah, it's a new one. Uh, 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 yeah, I love spots. Oh, I bought that on the walk home from the station. It is. What was that beep? Is that the thing? No, no, that wasn't that. Is it beeping? It was this. That's crazy. Think, it's it's never beeped. beeped. I've never heard it beep. What is that for black people? It's what like did a, you do? It's like a smoke alarm with no battery. Why has it got the predator readout? It beeped. That was Connor an AIDS it. detector. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got me there. Uh, Pretty good stuff. Uh, Pretty good, good yeah. stuff. <laughs> no, got AIDS. Pretty good stuff. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. <laughs> Anyway, man, I don't know. I honestly, the other day when I woke up and I, I looked at my phone and ESPN sent me a message and it said uh, OJ Simpson's uh, dead at 76. Oh, man, I, 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 I personally don't want to talk about it. I literally, okay, no, I'm not even kidding. This is, there's no humor in this. Mm-hmm. I got sad. Like, my heart sunk yeah. for a second. I got sad. Yeah. Because he's, he's been so unkillable. For so long, he's... Well, we also were, like, a little too young for the actual OJ trial. He's so just we, we only had this, like, we know about it. We didn't live that. And since then, all we've known is the home invasion thing and yeah. then him being hilarious on Twitter. Yeah. Not a home invasion. He invaded a hotel yeah, room. Yes, he, yeah, stole, yeah. he stole his memorabilia back. Didn't he have guys with him? <laughs> <laughs> he was taking Sorry. his stuff back. He was taking his stuff back. He was getting his stuff back. Why don't you relax, okay? I really will defend the fuck out of OJ. Yeah, I know. I know a lot about it. Uh-huh. I know a lot about it. Okay. So much so that I'm worried that you guys will be, like, out of the loop. I think Joey might be the only one that can keep up. But I like, might be out of loop. But it's... <sighs> He provided America, the great Orenthal James Simpson, provided America with the greatest story of all time. And I think uh, the forbidden N-word, which was a part of the trial a lot, which is Nicole Brown Simpson. um, Nicole should feel proud in the afterlife, as should Ron Goldman, because they were almost, they were like Jesus figures because they needed to die to sacrifice themselves for the sake of entertainment purposes. Jesus they were Jesus martyrs. Jesus we, they were martyrs. <laughs> I'm not kidding. God, you fucking when retard. You, that really was psychotic. God, you psycho. <laughs> no, I'm not. Idiot. Oh, really? Would you guys rather have not had the OJ trial? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean I'm you pretty, you are not that. So I'm a pretty, waiter I'm and pretty, a whore can be around <laughs> living. I'm pretty indifferent to it, but I'm not thankful for it. Yeah. Well, here's it, the it was like one Netflix liar, series. Not. You are a liar. Though. Well, you guys are frauds. Here's the thing most people don't understand, okay? <laughs> OJ, okay, okay. Uh, uh, OJ uh, was a man of God. He didn't like cheaters. And Nicole cheated on him with uh, Marcus Allen and many others. And <laughs> and Ron Goldman, listen, OJ was very pro Palestine. Yeah, and and he, yeah. they got in a little tiff. If you get into about, a karate stance with my the, boy, the o issue over there, Orenthal, you're gonna get your head chopped off. Listen. Listen, who are you to be bringing back my fucking wife, her fucking credit card? Okay? Yeah, and, not right. And, 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 and at the end of the day, we don't even know he did it, honestly. We really don't know he did it. I've heard theory. Well, there's the theory, but it's his son doing it. His son, uh, uh, Nicole, wa Nicole was a drug addict, and she owed a lot of bad people a lot of money. And uh, there was also a serial killer in the area at the time, the Happy Face Killer. Uh, <laughs> people have seen a white van out front. God knows. God really, really. It's it's only God. You were knows around, at this point. you know. Yeah, I was around. I'm uh, no, I'm kidding. But like seriously, the OJ trial was so unbelievable. When when it's all said and done, you almost go like, yeah, this had to happen in yeah. a weird way. And I I know I, I I brought it up in a really callous way, but like. It's much like when you hear the Beatles. <clears throat> a cultural go, phenomenon. <laughs> you hear the it's Beatles. Shakespearean. You hear the Beatles Absolutely. for the first time and you go, yeah, of course this is, this is music. Of course, like you go, wasn't this already here? Weren't the Beatles like you hear the, you, when you hear the Beatles, you go, yeah, I already know this. Like I heard this in the ether. I was in the womb hearing the Beatles. Okay. When you, yeah, when you, you when saw. you were born and you find out about the OJ trial, you go, Oh, of course this was a thing. This was just life. This is a mountain. This is the Grand Canyon. This is this is already <clears throat> supposed to be. Yeah. And I'm saying that Nicole and Ron, rest in peace, it's absolutely brutal. I don't believe you when you say that. But yeah. uh, no, I, I believe it because I I do have sympathy for them. But I'm just saying if they if they were to know <laughs> so the if they no, were he's to pulling know, it back because we, we pushed back for a second. Devin five minutes ago to say rest if, in peace, if Nicole they, Brown Simpson. <laughs> if they were to know how entertaining and contentious the aftermath was and what it meant to this country. They would have they sacrificed would have themselves. And Until how many right people had ate pizza and watched that trial. If they were to know that he was going to get in the white Bronco and try to run off and all the things that happened, you kind of got to go like, I don't know. You know, you start wondering if people even really exist. And you go, maybe they were just meant to be pawns. this in a game. They were pawns in a game. Yeah. yeah. Because... If the OG story never happened, life is so bland. It's like, who wants to, what are we, are we eating unseasoned food for the rest of our lives? It was unbelievable. It's the greatest thing to ever happen in the history of this country is the OJ Simpson trial. I, I agree. And it couldn't have happened unless OJ slipped with a knife one day. Would you rather have OJ Simpson trial or 9-11? Yeah. O.J. Simpson trial. 9-11 is annoying. 9-11 kick ass. 9-11 gave a bunch of fucking retards, uh, 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 you know, just a bunch of conspiracy ammo and shit. And I get it. It was. It is. It's all fake. 9-11 was fake and uh, all that. But, like, um, but I'm saying your, your argument's OJ, whole, like, way your, more interesting. Your argument's cultural impact, and I think 9-11 has way more There's cultural way impact. bigger cultural impact things yeah. than that. Oh, for no, sure. But storytelling. Right. Devin's talking about storytelling. Story. I love yeah. story. Yeah, it is yeah. Shakespearean. There's like a murder of something everybody's talking about. I love Lots development. Stories. You got OJ. Yeah. He's part of... You no know, one's scandal. Dude, that would exactly, be like... like yeah. OJ, OJ now would be like if we like LeBron killed his wife. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, not actually, his wife's what? It would be. It's more. It's different because it was a white woman. <laughs> Racial like, element. It'd be like if LeBron no. killed Amy Schumer on the set of Trainwreck. <laughs> but then actually, everyone would just like give him an award. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. wouldn't even go to trial. They'd just be like, "Hey, thank you for that." Furman's but, like, "Hey, let me botch another one, huh? What do you?" I a... just. I, I really don't think you guys understand how absolutely astonishing the OJ case was, and and how much how, how it came from the from the racial. Tension in LA. It encapsulated Los Angeles in one trial. It was the it was it was it was the embodiment of Los Angeles. Throughout I would only like have I was fifteen years. I was living in South Dakota at the time, and my I would walk upstairs. What year was it, by the way? Um, 
Well, he went on the run June 12th, 1994. I forget when he killed her. But June 12th, 1994. So I, was, I, was, I was about a month old. I was born I was in 89. I was two years old. And I remember the riots, by the way. <laughs> yeah, right. You remember the riots. You remember the riots? No, I don't. But I remember my mom You're talking. Pregnant. I remember my mom talking about the riots. Yeah, mom was pregnant. And driving through all these crazy things yeah. happening. And I go, thank God for that, too. Thank God for the riots. It's beautiful. These things need to happen. You can only come. You, you Listen, a fire has to start for a rebirth. Mm-hmm. You have to burn it down. Somebody has to die, and then their body gets turned. Gets like a phoenix. Goes into the soil, and then a beautiful flower comes from it. That's yeah. Unfortunately, Dude. some crazy things need to happen I, for recalibration. I, I, I understand I mean, what you're saying, but I'm not relishing in the death of it. That's, I all, that's am all I'm not saying. either, but they're afterthoughts yeah, at this point, Connor. But I don't think that's true. It's accelerationism. I think no, you have a bloodlust. It's horrible. I understand. You're pro-white. You hate women. I love you white. hate I love, women. You hate Jews. I love, you love murder. People don't know this about me. I was actually uh, juror number six on the OJ trial, and I was the guy when uh, they acquitted him that raised his hand in <laughs> doing the black power fist. <laughs> and they found out that I was actually I was actually yeah. a Black Panther at one point. I, I used to hang out with a Phoenix Occur. You are dressed like a Black Panther right Bob, now. Bobby Seal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well that's I'm a I stand yeah. with the black community. I always have and um you would titty fuck Dan Schneider during the and day. Listen, there's, the, there's, there's, there, listen, the 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 prosecution botched the botched the case, you know? And so yeah. at the end of the day you're innocent until proven guilty. He was not proven guilty. And uh, O.J., uh, you know, like Dr. Uh, Umar says, uh, you know, they, they, he didn't do it. If you want to blame, get, if you want to get mad at somebody, get mad at the justice system. Get mad at the justice system. I'm, 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 I'm not mad at, mad at anybody. Is, you want to argue with God's fate? I mean, this is, he, it, you, what, Connor's not being honest. You'd rather have a waiter be alive than have the O.J. No, I didn't say that. Drama. They, no, it's nonsense. I mean, I didn't say that. That's what you're acting like. No, no, a, lot of, no. a lot of people acting like we're not doing a comedy show here. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to lean in and be excited about OJ. <laughs> Sorry, forgive me. My mind is elsewhere. All right, listen. <clears throat> Satan, Satan collected his memorabilia yesterday. <laughs> OJ, yeah, he, took yeah, yeah. he took his. Yeah. He was a creation of <laughs> Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> We, the people of hell, find the defendant, Ornthal James Simpson, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> he was an avenging angels. Yeah. I'm uh, just saying, man, that people, everyone needs to check out the Made in America documentary uh, by the great, uh, what's his name? Ezra Edelman, I think. Uh, I've also watched very little OJ media. Once you do, you'll understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, I, did, I didn't even watch the American Crime Story. It was the, un. It was a, it's an Unbelievable timeline. It's a Pandora's box. It's like that movie. It's like uh, once you, once you're aware of it, John, you are can't you on imagine. Your third tall, bo- like Fuck fucking yeah, relax. No, they're not even helping you speak. You you still stink this week too. You said last week you sucked because you didn't drink. You sucked this week too. I'm just revving up, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I'll you, be there soon. They dude. better pay off. You better pay off. <laughs> I'm killing it right now. Man. My knees are killing fire, it, right dude. No, it's my dude. knees and back are fucking. I still got a buzz dude. ball in the in in. Uh, so as so we try to died. lift with the big boys. Yeah. No, no, it's, I'm carrying. So we're OJ. So. Oh, very good. Sorry, I didn't know you were going. I thought you were actually in pain. Uh, Let's watch some of the. So this is when uh, Oprah. They announced the verdict on Oprah. Unbelievable. In case number BA097211, we, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant or jo- Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of penal code section 187. So the juice is loose! The juice is loose! You know, Johnny right here, when he when he was whispering in his ear, he goes, you're going home, Juice. You're going home. <laughs> you're going home, Juice. That's like a fact. That's like literally what he said. And Robert Kardashian just, is just standing there like, I think my daughters are whores. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there like, I think OJ's fucking my wife. He goes, he goes, I, he goes I, you know, Chloe doesn't look anything like I just, My wife just gave birth to the biggest bitch of all time. It can't be mine. <laughs> look at Oprah. Yeah, look at Oprah. Look at Oprah's defensive stance. Superior Court of the State of California. Well, right. there's a lot of thoughtful black people in Oprah's the crowd, like, and then there's a yeah. lot of black people that are like, I don't give a fuck. Oprah's like, this, look. Is, this is for everything. The thoughtful black lady is sitting here just going like, I can't cheer right now because there's a camera on. She's me. like, mm-hmm. I'm a principal of a school. Yeah. There's like white kids there. I can't, I can't be on camera doing this. She went home and she was like, what? <laughs> she goes, <laughs> she's great walking. She, she's, she's doing this. She goes, 
I have a confetti gun in my pocket, <laughs> but the, I can't. I can't set it off until the this, camera this is she goes, she goes, you're on, you're on national TV. She goes, just pretend it's a really complicated issue and you're not excited. And then the minute she got home, she goes, power, power, power to the people, power to the people. She goes, don't, don't put your party hat on. Don't, whatever you do, don't put it on. No, man, people really. If you're out of the loop with the OJ stuff, it, you don't understand. I'm not completely out of the loop. I've seen all this footage. Bigger and... it is than just. I know. Unfortunately, and uh, 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 other than just the, the murders that he committed, obviously, and 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 he's a psychopathic, you know, person. But it became another thing because of the great Johnny Cochran, the great Effie Bailey, the great Barry Sheck, the great R R Richard uh, Robert Shapiro, uh, and the great uh, and uh, Robert Kardashian can suck my ass, but. He wasn't good as a lawyer, or just because Robert Kardashian you know, just sat there the whole time. Like he thought he thought OJ was gonna go away, and then he was all yeah. you know horrified. He didn't do good legal work. Was he researching or anything? Or no, dead he's a weight. fucking scumbag. Dead weight. Also, what happened in 1994? Like, wasn't Waco in 1994? <clears throat> a lot of things happened. Yeah, 1994. June 12th, 1994. A million I'm things happened that same day. OJ was on the run. North Hollywood shootout uh, was 94, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Northridge earthquake. The 90s Whoa. were unbelievable. Yeah. The 90s were amazing. God, must have us. I mean, the riots. I mean, people. Like, the riots. People really need to understand how amazing. Waco was a year were. before. It was 93. Didn't Tupac die in 94? No, he died in like 96. Uh, I think. Wasn't fucking uh, oh ninety four might have been uh, Tupac died, Oklahoma like, City bombing. I actually don't know dates that yeah. well. well. Enough, of, enough of your white tragedies. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, like Tupac all these things. Dying. Give me your white tragedies. Give me your white tragedies. <laughs> it was a good three years. Ooh, the Oklahoma City bomb. Yeah, Tupac uh, uh, completely dominates the Oklahoma City bombing. Okay, <laughs> I don't where, know. Where, I'll, take, I'll take I'll take OKC, dude. Really? Yeah. I'm Kill sure a lot they, more sure, people. Sure, they were all really charismatic. Mm. Timothy McVeigh was. <laughs> <laughs> Did they make hit him up? <laughs> Give a shit. Yeah, that daycare center didn't make hit him up. <laughs> no, I'm obviously being a psychopath tonight, but because because OJ is gone and it's 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 a lot to deal with. Um, <laughs> it's still new for Devin. I can't believe it, dude. I can't fucking believe it. It's crazy. Well, did anyone know you had cancer? No, he didn't tell anybody. Oh, I just thought sad. of the best movie idea of all time. Okay. Yeah. okay, and I need to stop setting stuff up like this because it's I, it's, it's just setting Jurassic myself Park. up for for failure. No, no, no. Yeah. So you know that movie, the Beatles movie, yesterday. Guy wakes up, Indian dude, Dev Patel. Mm -hmm. There's no Beatles in the world. Yeah. He's the only one. Oh, yeah. So here's the movie. Dev wakes up. No one's heard of OJ Simpson. And it's me trying to tell. Yeah, people. yeah. You're like, it's Nicole greatest. Brown Simpson's alive. Yeah, exactly. And I keep trying to tell her like he's gonna. No, no, he doesn't exist. He doesn't, oh, he exist. doesn't exist. So you you take it upon yourself. Yeah, oh. kill her. You. And then, but though everybody's just like, well, nobody cares because you weren't in the NFL. So and now you movie just have ends. blood on your hands. And movie you're, ends. Tr you're trying to recreate culture, but you can't. No, he tries to join the NFL. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, tries, he goes into college <laughs> football. Perfect. No, no, no. He yeah, so it's, it's, it's yesterday you know, meets invincible. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what it is. Like You're like this. a Mark Wahlberg type, obviously <laughs> like for the this. NFL, just so you can kill I'm Nicole Jackson. It's, it's a sports drama. He's an yeah, NFL yeah. underdog. I play everybody. I'm Mark Furman too. Uh -huh. I'm but like super racist, and you're in blackface the entire time. But the movie starts, and Devin's training for the NFL, and the yeah. second he gets to tryouts, he just gets hit and killed by another NFL player. <laughs> Instantly snaps his neck, <laughs> and he's like, he's on the he's on his dying deathbed. Yeah. He's like, he must kill Nicole Brown Simpson. <laughs> it, I go, the timeline's off. I go, it's not right. The timeline's not correct. <laughs> uh, the racial tension will just manifest into a much bigger thing. We the need this. The balance is off. I go, I go, I go, I'm like, the blacks need this. De Devin shows up. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally like, I'm a vegetable. I go, the blacks need this. <laughs> we need to let a black guy off who never gave a fuck about black people. Final scene of the movie, I just thought of it. Yeah. Devin, he's dead. Died in the accident on the field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nick cuts to Nicole Brown. Mm -hmm. No Simpson, Nicole Brown. And she is, she owns a newspaper, and there's a tiny little article mm. NFL underdog dies in freak hit. Yeah. Mm. She, and then she goes, hmm. Throws the newspaper. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 goes, and then, and and then Ron, Ron Goldman, then Ron Goldman walks out. 
into the room. He's my nurse. And he goes, you want to fuck again? No, you're dead. <laughs> it's just <laughs> them. Oh, I'm dead. I'm and, dead. But yeah. And he just goes, hey, Nicole, you want to suck my dick again? And she goes, yes, please. And then it credits. And then Walk of Life by Dire yeah, Straits yeah, yeah, plays. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. In, in the newspaper, it goes, uh, NFL player uh, died today. His name was O.J. Simpson. And then it's a photo of Devin in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I just, I'm, I'm telling you guys, the riots were also another beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah. The riots were beautiful. They're sick, dude. I mean, it was, it was a race war. That was sad. It was a legitimate <clears throat> race. War. That was a physical race war. This was a like metaphorical race war. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and this was all. The, the OJ got off. Because and then actually, you know what I'm saying about cultural impact? Though, is like that happened, and then 9/11 happened. And it was, it was reunity. Yeah. Kind of an incredible timeline from '94 well, to 2001. Incredible! Wow. And and okay. Wow. The fact that OJ didn't give a fuck about black people. OJ used to call black people the N word. Because uh-huh. I'm not black. I'm OJ. He, yeah. he, he in fact yeah. when he was him being brought home after the trial, there were I'm all not these black, black people. There were all these black Never people. Heard that? No. But that's not even the worst. There yeah. were all these black people cheering for him when he was, when he got acquitted and he was driving home and he asked uh, the he asked one of the people in the car he goes what are all these n words doing here really yeah he literally <laughs> was like <laughs> <laughs> or no no I think before when like right, like right before it went to trial I bet he but, was uh, thinking like oh they're making me look bad. Yeah, he didn't like black yeah, people yeah. at all. Then, the, then Johnny hard, Cochran. Hard R when he said that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Johnny Cochran and everybody like had to be like, we have to play up race. So they yeah, brought yeah. race into the trial. They allowed race into the trial. Uh, Lance Edo, big celebrity, really wanted it. Judge he Edo. was like, yeah, the judge, Edo, honorable, honorable judge. Edo. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, man, I mean, this was all a, a culmination of, uh, you know, the Latasha Harling uh, killing. Uh, who was the black girl that got shot in the back of the head by a Korean liquor store owner? Mm-hmm. There was the Rodney King beating. There was uh, a couple other things, and uh, yeah, it was just everything was building up. The riots had happened, and then he's on trial, and he's like the oh, whitest yeah, black so- guy. He's like the whitest black guy alive. But they're like, he has the greatest defense team yeah. of all time, and they're like, oh. we're gonna fucking use race. Yeah, you killed a white woman. Uh, or you know, they say you killed a white woman. This is this is a, in the historically in America, allegedly, sure. You know, like yeah. it's it, oftentimes been a lie, mm-hmm. like Emmett. T- you know, so yeah. a lie. Yeah, no, it's it, unbelievable shit. I didn't realize that the riot. So do you know uh, when how far away the riots were yeah, from? Yeah, the riots it's were like, if it's the riots were like, like nine, years. the riots were like ninety two, and the, the case happened in like yeah. ninety four. Okay. Also, this is like the height of like modern like racist violence I think in the United States like mm-hmm. Pat post like Jim Crow shit like I know we were joking about Timothy McVeigh and everything but like the Aryan Brotherhood has never been more powerful and like neo-Nazis than like the early 90s mid 90s and shit yeah. you know no it was it was when uh, yeah shit was really like <laughs> 1960s-ish in the 90s yeah like shit kind of yeah. came back and it was very yeah. like, like Culture, Turner Diaries. I, think, I think culturally Ooh. from like Turner 92 Diaries. to 2001 oh, yeah. that was like the most like insane cultural impact like the United States has ever seen. Mm-hmm. It's like most insane period of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The footage of OJ getting acquitted and everyone in the streets and all the black people cheering and the white people being like, oh, fuck yeah. this yeah. the I mean, come on. Listen. That might be necessary to even out what? hundreds of years of bullshit. Yeah. It's horrible. He did it. Black people are retarded for 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 believing he didn't do it. You know, Devin, I like to, I'd like to publicly retract <laughs> but they're, but they're yeah. will, they're my sentiment w- from earlier. They're being willfully ignorant. Yeah, because they're like, "Fuck you." Yeah, no, they're like, no, "I no, know no. he that, did that, it, but that's I don't a give good a way shit. to put it." They're, they're not like, retarded. Yeah. They're like, "We we're not we know he's guilty, but, but we're not going to say it." Cause, we're not going to say because fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, we're pl- we're but you're it just, our enemy. It just sucks. It was OJ and not like a real like. Like Dennis a, Rodman, like a black black guy. <laughs> but it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have gotten off as you black. He black wouldn't guy. have gotten. He wouldn't have gotten off. Had to have, black yeah, black he had, had to, to be OJ. He had to be OJ. Cochran would have been uh, working overtime if it was yeah. a really black guy. Yeah. That would have been much harder. Yeah, I mean, he would have been having to pick him up. He'd be like, "You're late." <laughs> <laughs> Judge Ito's like, if you are late in my courtroom one more time. Dude, even the fact that Judge Ito's an Asian guy. It's yeah. like the riots in one courtroom. Yeah. Judge Ito was probably on a fucking rooftop shooting at black people <laughs> two years earlier. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. That's what I mean when I compare it to the Beatles, Connor. 
<laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> OJ is better than the Beatles. I think. I think the trial is. I think the whole story. Black, Blackbird and, is actually about OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> the whole story in the trial is better than the Beatles. But it's one of those things. When I was a kid and I found out about it, I found out about the riots. It was just one of those things. It's like, yeah, that's supposed to have been. Much like when I heard, "Hey Jude." <laughs> I go, yeah, that doesn't. Th I feel like I've heard this. So every time you hear a Beatles song, you go, haven't I heard this before? This is, all right, kid? so this isn't even a real argument. Yeah. I don't, but I'm just saying my counter to that is the fact that like the Beatles changed music. OJ trial didn't really actually change anything between like white and black people's relations in the country. I mean, like it's still. I love that you're no, like it helped. It made it. <laughs> you're like arguing this point, <laughs> like, super, like I'm being like I'm being super sincere. <laughs> you were being sincere. In the no, beginning. no, no, he is being bit. sincere. Yeah, what the fuck? No, 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 no. He, no, there is, there is a, there is a, there is a rhythmic history. Oh no, 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 don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. There's a rhythm to history, and and Devin's talking about there is a rhythm to musical archetypes in the Beatles. There's certain yeah, again, things that come. There's certain things the that come around. To life. There's certain yeah. things that come around in life in our culture where you go, "That is perfect." Yeah. yeah. And there is often, there's obviously always somebody that suffers from it. All those there's dominoes. A, there's always a yes. victim, but also perfect racial dominoes where it's like uh, 7-Eleven uh, Korean kills the black lady. Riots, oh, Oklahoma okay. City bombing at yeah, the end exactly. of it. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah, boom, yeah. boom, boom, and then just like a perfect. Like, if you don't think Timothy McVeigh was like seething over fucking OJ Simpson, oh, big time. Oh God, yeah. I like, bet like, no, no OJ, no McVeigh. Yeah, I would always. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, you guys, because that was proof in the pudding. Like yeah, he was yeah. like, okay, you, they weren't just like fucking. You yeah. know, the blacks weren't just. You yes. know, they could just say it all day, but OJ's getting off with murder, so he's gonna blow up a building. Yeah, let me get called no. a faggot so many times in the comments. <laughs> Can't no, wait. it's okay, dude. No, 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 you're not. No, I, you're before not. I heard the end of that sentence, I thought you were just talking about you like can after, avoid it. You can uh, yeah, after when we when we turn the button off, <laughs> when we, just... we go when we go hang out after. <laughs> Connor, you can avoid all the comments if you if you join the side of black people. <clears throat> no, he was. He kind of yeah. What the he fuck? was. I was. <laughs> OJ, great. Didn't do it. Innocent or guilty? Didn't do it. There we go. Actually, I was defending black people more than you were in my last. What was sentiment. I saying about black people? No, I was just saying the fact that like OJ didn't change anything. Um, that's I... all I was saying, and I don't even mean it seriously. I just mean like it didn't really actually have an impact. It didn't change anything. Okay, you're actually... it was like a minor victory. You're kind of right. You you are right it's about that. Fratted. I'm saying it just changed entertainment. Um, yeah, we got a TV show. Yeah, you're all about entertainment, dude. Was all, just, it changed yeah. what was on so Devin's TV. For the last. <laughs> it changed the channel for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you guys ever see this? This is him on a news show talking about it. This is this is what OJ, you know, he's got a good sense of humor and stuff about it. He, okay, if you promise that you will not ask me another question about the case. I will never ask you again. Oh, I love this. We won't have to talk about it anymore. Just did you do it? <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> nope. He's funny. Nope. Oh, oh my God! That Wait, no, 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 no. This, this, this is the best. Have you seen this? I don't think so. Jay said to me that uh, he had a surprise for me, and I genuinely was surprised. I think it was his idea of a joke, and this is it. <laughs> oh shit! <Jay. laughs> <laughs> Orenthal James Simpson. Ah, uh, you naughty boy. <laughs> Oh, dude, Look at he looks so innocent in his yeah. face. Like, sincerely looks like a sweet angel baby boy. Colberger yeah. stare. He's got that innocent Colberger <laughs> stare. Nobody makes jokes about something that crazy if they if they know they didn't do it. Right. If you were guilty, you'd be like, I'm never making any jokes. You know, like, I'm, I'm sitting tight. I, I'm not I'm, talking about my this. My lips are sealed. Yeah. But, uh, you but know. he's also an athlete. And he wants to flaunt, all right? That's it's, true. It's a, this is a victory dance. This is a touchdown. <laughs> oh, that is true. This was the greatest touchdown of all time. It is. That's why when he won, he goes like this to the jury. He goes like... Yes. <laughs> he literally acted like he scored a touchdown. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. You, know, you guys ever see him uh, fucking... Whoa, he gets the, a medal? Do the, the, the lost confession? Oh, oh. I've seen this, I think. What's this? And this is just him doing... When he, when he wrote his whole book called the If I Did It. By the way, the If I Did It... The if is so small. Uh, the if is so small because of the civil case he yeah. lost, where the the the, the <clears throat> Goldmans were allowed to, or the Brown family, the, the they inherited Nicole's the family. rights for the book. So you, they you have to make control. the if very small. Sure. And yeah. that's funny. Interrupted minutes. OJ puts himself hypothetically at the scene of the crime. Um, the chapter. What's up? Chapter six is called the night in question. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, and you write in the book. Now picture this, and keep in mind that this is. 
purely hypothetical. 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 Yes. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what might have happened on the night of June 12th, 1994? <laughs> And let's just walk yeah, through the night. I, well, first of all, it's, this is very difficult for me to do this. Uh, it was very difficult oh, for so me. So it was June 12th, 1984. I guess June, June... I guess the next day he then went on the run. Because it's hypothetical. I know and I accept the fact that people are going to feel whatever way they're going to feel. <laughs> you know, uh, they're going to... Uh, um, you know, some, uh, whatever, uh, whatever they want to feel. In the book, the hype. He goes, you know white people. <laughs> I can't be controlling how white people he feel. Goes, I can't crackers. control white. I can't control the crackers. <laughs> the critical is. Uh, Charlie. Uh, uh, Pulls out. Charlie. <laughs> uh, this guy, Charlie, shows up. The guy who I recently become friends with. And uh, I don't know why you had been buying the Cole's house, but it told me you wouldn't believe what's going on over there. I love that. how he created a guy named Charlie that is him. Like he's like it's like Flowers of Algernon. Like he's like retarded. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he goes if it was say for instance, there was a man named Charlie. There. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that fucking book. And uh, and I remember thinking, well, whatever's going on over there has got to stop, right? Yeah. So we kind of hooked up together, and, uh, and you know, kind of I mean, broad stroke their lives. <laughs> we go over, get into Bronco, and go over. Let, let's just go back and do the details. Where did you I'm park? Do the detail. You park in, in the, the hypothetical in the alley. Right. You park in the yeah. alley. alley. Um, Which, by the way, in the court case, they all knew he parked in the alley. He's literally just he did it. Yeah, he completely, yeah. obviously, is. You put on admitting to it. A wool cap and gloves. Uh, in the hypothetical, I put on <laughs> cap and gloves. Right. Yeah. Put on some great Bruno Magli shoes, <laughs> and he put on a skull cap. He really dressed. He dressed like every movie he'd probably ever seen of like a like a boogeyman. Like a guy. <laughs> 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 he really put like on a, a Brinks commercial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he looked like he was. Yeah, he looked like he was in an ADT security <laughs> he commercial. Kick a door, yeah. He goes, uh, yeah. Hypothetically, I put on a long uh, hooded cloth, uh, cloth, and a robe, if you will, and uh, I grabbed my scythe and I proceeded to my house. And, and um, you reached under the seat for. Um, a knife. I always kept a knife, a not car for the crazies and stuff, because you can't travel with a gun. He goes, then hypo and by, and hypothetically, and by crazies, I, I mean but Nicole I, Brown. He goes, <laughs> he, goes, he goes, you always keep a knife in your car in case the crazy people come, you know, come after you. Like Nicole Brown, Simpson, and Ron Goldman. <laughs> Jewish waiter, my wife. <laughs> you know, the crazies out there. He goes, hypothetically, I'm talking about my wife and a Jewish waiter. <laughs> believe he took it. Charlie took the knife? Yeah. He goes, and Charlie was crazy as hell, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, by the way, Charlie was really good at football. <laughs> he goes, he goes. Charlie told me he rushed for 2,000 yards in one season. Book. Yeah. Yes. So, the back gate, you go through the back gate. Yes. And it was open Fuck. or broke? He just admits it. He That's, doesn't. He, when he doesn't say hypothetically, Charlie goes to the back gate. When yeah. he goes, she's great. This interviewer, by the way, she just keeps going, you, 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 oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, he yeah, eventually yeah. slips up. Imagine being Johnny Cocker and watching this and just going like, motherfucker, OJ. Well, here's the thing, real quick, Connor. By the way, um, everyone did get karmic justice. Mm -hmm. Johnny Cochran died shortly after this of of brain of brain tumor. I think I think that's a He was just doing his job. That's I don't that's not fair. He was I shitting a, pint, a a shot glass of blood every day. He then, did 64. Yeah. He did a couple yeah. bang bangs. A serial killer came into his apartment <laughs> and he was shitting glasses of blood. But uh no, Johnny Cochran got brain uh, got a brain tumor mm -hmm. shortly after this. And which I kind of I do believe is like a little karmic cuz Johnny Cochran went a little too far. Johnny Cochran was like comparing uh, he was he was comparing white people to Hitler by the end of the case. That's his I mean, job. Like, it's literally his job. Yeah, but that was I think that was a bit too far. And even a lot of people on his uh, on his on his in his defense team were like, "Man, eh, that was a bit much." But he, who ends up winning though? Robert Kardashian died of colon cancer after this. He deserved it. Mm. He deserved. I just think some things happened. But F. Lee Bailey and Barry Sheck and those guys, those he didn't guys were it just yet. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 His impact. <laughs> Oh, way bigger. He should have died way James. before. Yeah. Robert Kardashian w is a huge loser. <laughs> and he can burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you just say things. 
<laughs> you just say shit. Debbie. It's so funny to be. Imagine like, there's somebody to grandstand here and be like, these people got their karmic payback, dude. <laughs> Colon cancer. And then I go, they can burn in hell. <laughs> just Ito's yeah. still kicking, right? My favorite joke ever. Ito's still out there. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah. yeah. Ito? Mm-hmm. But my favorite joke ever about OJ ever is, because you're about to be talking about how OJ's in hell, is what did. What did Ron Simpson say to Nicole when they met up in heaven? Here's your fucking wallet. <laughs> no, he goes, here's your fucking glasses. <laughs> oh, was it her glasses? It was her mom's glasses that she left at his restaurant. Oh, uh, well, that's bullshit. Those were like his cum shot glasses. Yeah. <laughs> he would put them on her and come on her face. Here, that was the truth. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was the sharking glasses. <laughs> it was his, shark, his sharking glasses. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's get look at that stare. I don't recall. Okay. I go to the front and I'm looking to see what's going on. Um, and I can see that it appears like Nicole had fly, I had candles all the time. She really did to keep her overhead down, I think. And music was on. And uh, while I was there, a guy should so keep her overhead. overhead. That's such a funny. He goes, we were subtle we were thing. struggling financially yeah, at the like time. The power bill. Like, no, what that's the fuck such a funny about? subtle thing to say. You know what that could mean. It's a classic divorce thing. He's not giving her enough money to keep up with the, you know, with the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's like a, you know. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but, they were divorced at the time? Um, They were separated. Got it. Uh, oh. they, they they were separated. They were, tr- they were, then uh, she was banging Marcus Allen to get back at him. And then they, and then she was banging this other white guy who OJ would flip out about. And be like, you're sucking his dick in the living room. and you, blah, 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 blah. Which is, you know, every man gets angry. Was she ever on the record yeah. for, like, him being violent before? All the time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, tons. The cops were called there a lot. Damn. He Jesus Christ. Used to, he used to brutalize. The cops would come. <laughs> the cops would come and she'd have, like, a black guy. And they'd be like, oh, my God. It's OJ. It's like, can I yeah. get your oh, yeah. yeah. It's a poor yeah. woman. Mm-hmm. No, they, yeah. They, she'd have, like, a like her face. Would yeah, be, this like, is necessary. Her face would be black. And they go, that's racist. And they go, OJ, not, great to see you. <laughs> you're canceled. <laughs> they, go, you, they go, you're canceled, they go, Nicole. You're canceled. Nice to meet <laughs> you. Nice to meet you, OJ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they go, OJ's like, I just feel, I'm, I'm, re- I'm wrestling consciously with the fact that I'm dating a white woman. So I'm trying to, like, darken her up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, he's uh, he definitely did it. He's uh, one of the worst people to have ever uh, existed. All right, in the now you're backtracking guy. a whole lot. Yeah, you you're love really, him. You're really cucking this up, Debbie. You thought that he's like being fake about that. You can yeah. tell. If you after the show, he's, he's gonna- a bad guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OJ was terrible. Oh, OJ did bad <laughs> things. He killed two people. He used to beat her. He was he was accused of rape multiple times at USC, and then people at USC had to sign NDAs to not let it out, and so he got his Heisman, and then he had an amazing <laughs> career, and then he went on to kill two people. Oh, boo fucking who? You know how many fucking great documentaries we have over this shit? You want that deleted? <laughs> there used to be a comedian who bought a, or maybe he just had a, a, a white, uh, Ford Bronco, and he would. He was a shitty comedian, but you could pay him fifty bucks. You'd get into his white Ford Bronco, and mm. he would drive you Do around tour, like yeah, Brentwood. Brentwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he would just tell you the story. Who? I can't remember his name. Do you? Well. I don't know his name, but I do know that Nicole was known for something called the Brentwood Hello, which means she would suck off strangers for drugs. (laughs) (laughs) Don't act like I have. I've been on on the Brentwood Brentwood Hello. The Brentwood Hello. She would give sexual favors to strangers and randos in Brentwood at parties. It's also known as the Reseda hello, the Van Nuys hello, <laughs> oh. the Watts hello, the a Compton hello. A lot of people don't understand this. Okay, she was a, she was a floozy. <laughs> she was doing drugs all the time. She owed the cartel a lot of money, and that's why they that's why they gave <laughs> the her cartel. that's why they gave her and Ron Goldman the Colombian necktie. <laughs> <laughs> you put this, you this like on the Columbia cartel. Nectar. The cartel. You go, this, one, this goes all the way back to the cartel. This is all El Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> this is El Chapo, baby. In Devin's room, there's just like red yarn and Polaroid <laughs> photos of Nicole Brown, the cartel. <laughs> I mean, come uh, on. I look at this like the Woody Allen, Mia Farrow thing. Another innocent uh, man. They're both a little crazy. <laughs> 
who knows who did what? <laughs> they're both uh, they're both wild people. Who yeah. could really say? Who could really say? Yeah, unless you were there. I don't. Know. I wasn't there. But I mean, listen. I've been on Black Twitter, and I believe a lot of things right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I went down the rabbit hole last night. I watched. I re. I, I watched the OJ documentary like a couple times a year. I think it's the greatest piece of media ever made. Jason and I both agree on that. And uh, I watched it again last night. I watched seven hours of OJ. Jesus uh, Christ, dude. Last night. And then I went on uh, Twitter after. I was up till 3 a.m. I'm taking care of Ben's dogs, and I was there and alone. I was just with the dogs watching OJ. And I'm having a great time. And it's just, it's, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm remembering a, 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 a friend. Sounds like a nice night. Do you like some yeah. candles? Thanks for the memories. <laughs> yeah, like I, I see you with a candle and some yeah. wine. Keep the overhead low. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for the memories, all the gloves you owned and the bloody shoes. Thanks for <laughs> the memories, the white Bronco, the chase we watched. My parents got pizza, everybody came over, it was a national story, it changed the world. That got nice. I think we should do a little corner. All the t-shirts that were made. Ha-cha-cha. All the people that were entertained. Whoa. <laughs> ba ba New idea, though. Devin's Lawyer Corner. Yeah. Devin's Law Corner. And we have you, Devin's Law Corner, we have you defend. That's good. The worst person of all time. Yeah, That's yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. We give all him right. a black criminal who's obviously <laughs> guilty. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah. I, I like defending black black criminals more than White. whites. Okay. Yeah, whites are. Next week, Jared Powell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, guys. I really didn't think I'd get this much pushback today. It's kind of upsetting. Well, you know. Neither did Sorry, the cool buddy. Simpson when she started uh, doing the Brentwood hello. Maybe yeah. don't. Fucking OJ maybe. didn't think he'd get a pushback on that neck when he's shoving that <laughs> knife Jesus into it. Jesus Christ, John, that's too much. Sorry, buddy. Chill, John. Sorry, guys. It's two people dead. <clears throat> yeah. Well, she was known for the Brentwood hello. She was known for the Brentwood hello. OJ was known for the Brentwood goodbye. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, uh, Nicole and Ron were killed by the cartel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ron Goldman comes in the back gate. Yeah, a, a, a guy that I really didn't recognize. I, I may have seen him around, but I really didn't recognize him to be anyone. And uh, he keeps saying I. A guy I, a guy I. And yeah. I, in the mood I was in, I started having words with him. He says to you, I just came by to return a pair of glasses. Judy left them at the restaurant. Yeah, words to that effect, yes. And they were at Mezzaluna. A lot of weird things used to happen at Mezzaluna in Brentwood. What was it? Just there's a lot of shady characters that used to dine at Mezzaluna. I wonder if you could find an old menu or something. We, it's, I think it's might be it's still, still open. My, my and, Let's uh, go next week. I don't know if I believe it or didn't believe it. Uh, it was pretty much immaterial because... Whoa. You know, uh, I was more concerned about everything that, that everything that was going on, you know, and uh, was uh, fed up with it, I guess. And uh, you get into a fight. Nicole comes out. And verbal, a verbal, a verbal fight. fight. <laughs> Got a little loud, and by that time, uh, uh, Nicole had come out, and we started having words about who is this guy, why is he here, what's going on. And, and she says, "This is my house. Get that the f out yeah, of here." Yes, and. Uh, which I didn't like because, once again, this is the same person. And if you read the book, you'll see some things that happened in the two weeks leading up to this that were uh, very, very irritating. So he's talking about, you know, she was she she uh, she called the cops on him weeks earlier. He was he was going crazy because she was she was uh, seeing this white guy and uh, he was going nuts. He broke in through the back door, kicked the door down. Um, but that's just an angry guy, you know. There's no one, no one's to judge a domestic. Uh, what goes on in somebody's home and, and what goes on in the interpersonal dealings of a relationship, and so he kicked the door down. He was angry. He was just, he was, you know, he was just, he was like seeing how how strong a lot of the a lot of the furniture was in the place. So he was like throwing it around, being like, "Oh, that yeah. breaks. Oh, that that was, yeah. look at that. That oh, that's broke. pretty durable. Because that yeah, broke yeah, pretty yeah. easily. He goes that wow, yeah. that that's pretty strong. I guess we I, what I paid for that is that 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 was worth it. 
And uh, he was, you know, trying out knives. He's like, you know, he was, he was, trying he out was, knives. He was juggling. He's so sharp. Whatnot. He was going around the house, and he, you know, and she, she was locked in a room, afraid. She was calling the cops, and uh, they came and whatnot. And then after that, Nicole was done with him, like no love whatsoever. Like I'm fully finished with you, and he could sense that, and that made him angry because <laughs> he didn't have her under his thumb anymore. Mm-hmm. And every woman out there should understand, never be in that position. Never let your man feel like you're not under his thumb. Yeah. You'll be under his knife. Because something bad. (laughs) (laughs) So, (laughs) so... I'm just letting you know what happened two weeks earlier. And so for those two weeks, OJ was stewing. And upset. And then he went over there with Charlie. And then Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> Charlie lost Charlie. his Charlie. goddamn Charlie's <laughs> nuts. Charlie, no one, no one can wrangle Charlie. No one, no one, no one has any idea what Charlie will do. It when Charlie sees moment. red, it, it's over. <laughs> it's, dude. Oh, my God. It's like a bullfighter. <laughs> it's crazy. So anyway, I'm just giving you a little little details about the last two weeks, what he's referring to. You know, uh, and I think Charlie had followed this guy. <laughs> so make sure there was no stupid, problem. Dude. And he brought so the knife. Funny. As things got heated, uh, I just remember Nicole fell <laughs> and hurt herself. And uh, this guy kind of got into a karate thing. Ooh. And I said, well, you think you can kick my ass? And I remember I grabbed a knife. <laughs> he's, now that fully, ass. he's now fully saying he did it. He's not even saying hypothetically. He goes, I grabbed the knife. So he's saying he's now also he's now also like making Ron Goldman look like a, bitch. a cartoon character. Yeah. Bitch in his... uh, double Jeopardy, I just realized. That's why he's so comfortable. Yeah, uh, double Jeopardy. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. He can't be dressed with the same crime twice. Yeah, yeah. Because I was sitting there thinking like, God damn, Cockrum must hate this. But no, he has double Jeopardy. But I bet the civil suit this hard the civil it is suit. very sick that a guy trains karate and like is like ready to fight and then he realizes he has to fight oj simpson with a knife <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking funny <laughs> imagine <Yeah>. like marshawn <laughs> lynch is marshawn lynch just killed his wife in front of you the last thing I'm doing is getting into like a combat, <laughs> like, like, ah! like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> well, I mean, it's also what a bitch, dude. But you can't run. He's a fucking run. He's gonna he's gonna <laughs> run your ass. Yeah, yeah. That is so God. horrifying. That no, should be. I, I'm sure this is probably Ben Dunn, but like a horror, like a Jason Voorhees. OG but it's Simpson. a running back, and he's super fast and strong. I and think I think that has OJ been. Voorhees. OJ Voorhees. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Vori's the juice, man. All right, let's just, we'll wrap this up real quick. Right. Portion taking a knife from Charlie. And to be honest, after that, I don't remember. Except I'm standing there and there's all kind of stuff around. He goes, all kind of fucking, it's like somebody's. All, He's like a shot glass of blood everywhere. <laughs> I'm looking in the toilet. It's all really, pink and shit. I don't really remember what happened. We had just come back from Mezzaluna, so like there was marinara everywhere. I did a bang bang at Mezzaluna. I just I blacked out and I was like, oh my god, there's so much marinara sauce. I, I woke up and I was all like, over I was my like back. is this marinara did, bullying? Did Joey take a shit in here or something? <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, um, what kind of stuff? Blood and stuff around. You know, we, a spinal you know, cord was visible. I, <laughs> blood. It's like predator. It's hanging yeah. from the fucking tree. Jesus. He's like. He's like. It was kind of like a. It was kind of like. I'm. I'm trying to find the words. You, have you played Mortal Kombat? <laughs> you know, fatality. It's kind of like a fatality. It's almost like a. It's almost like Kung Lao, like through his like head. You know, I just had to finish him. <laughs> By the way, it's so funny, even with OJ, the whitest black guy to ever exist, we're like, man, motherfucker. So I was, I was, I was, I was there and shit, right? <laughs> Dude, he's crazy. Oh, my God. And then we got to back up again. Right. It's <laughs> okay. I'm going to back this up. This is hard. This is, this hard. is hard. I wonder when they test his, uh, his brain, how much CT, like how, how. Didn't he, they test? Well, I thought they did test it. Or no, I'm thinking about somebody else. He just died. Uh, Aaron Hernandez. Like they have to do, I want to, I want to see them now study his brain. Oh, you're gonna, right. I don't think you they're going to okay test that. it until you can't test die. it until he's dead. Yeah, so like yeah. now we get to see like yeah. how, how severe his CTE was. I don't be. think they're going to okay that. There's no way. Why wouldn't they? Who because can? Because it's in, there, or does OJ have to give permission? Yeah, his family definitely has to give to test his brain for CTE. Yeah, dude. They're gonna. The the family has to be probably, like, yeah, you may take this to a medical lab. They and probably fucking, do it. Why not? Yeah. Why wouldn't they? 
Because yeah. it's just going to read. There's got to be members of his family that, like, know he did it but still love dad. Like, because they it, just don't know how to, like, not. I doubt it. And man. also, it I can think help. Gonna, you it, think they're all delusional? They're just going to bury his ass. That's just going to happen. They're not going to send his brain to a medical lab. That's not going to happen. They're just going to fucking all the, all the, cremate like one little chunk. Thing. It's not like they have to take the whole brain out. Yeah, just take a little bit. Even that. It's fucking, you know, just fucking, you know. It'll be but like, they're, they're like, maybe this will explain our dad. They're probably curious. They're yeah. probably, he was crazy our entire maybe. lives. I mean, that's, that's maybe, but I, I would do it. I would do it if I knew my dad was a murderer i'd be like he's going down like just fucking don't even look into it do you think he's killed again since then yeah i hope so there could be a guy in vegas he killed he was he was doing a lot of weird shit in the later you ever think he just like snuck down like skid row jared powell style he might honestly break into an apartment might have who fucking knows because he he is one of these guys that no but that's he in the lineup he actually did it (laughs) He did it. I can guarantee he did it. This was a crime of passion. This was yeah. this, this was built up through his. He has an anger issue. Yeah, that he never solved. But yeah, but also, what if somebody else pissed him off? That like it, exactly like a homeless guy. Pissed him no off. one can why piss would, you how off. How would anyone like piss a fucking off? Woman. How? Why would anyone ever piss OJ off after knowing about this? On accident. Well, he has CTE. Some guy could just bump into him. Exactly. and He fucking lose his yeah, mind. Yeah. Now I think but that's has, nothing compared to what she was doing. No, I know, I know, I know. But There's here's the no thing. Way. Also, like, and I'm saying he has shown almost zero remorse. That's why he's so good. He won the case. Because he he looks so innocent, his composure. I think like he's that. got a touch of autism. So I think maybe since he's like, I got away with that. Why not fucking do it again? Probably, he fits the profile. Know, he think, fits the profile of a psychopath who was capable of murdering. Yeah, there's there's something yeah. on the spectrum there with him. There's it's something possible. weird and odd. Joe, you, you know, know what? he was supposed to play the Terminator. That would have been Are so you yeah. what? He was supposed to play the Terminator, but James Cameron was literally afraid that he didn't seem like a killer enough. That's so fucking <laughs> wow. literally. And then they gave it to what, Arnold once again, Connor. Right. What I said earlier. Mm-hmm. That story doesn't exist unless he does what he had to do. <laughs> he had the Terminator. You, dude, you've converted me. Unbelievable stories. Get a behind the scenes Terminator anecdote. When you're at a party uh-huh. and you're eating charcuterie and you're bored as shit, you get to tell some guy, you go, you know, James Cameron wanted Spitting to Spitting salami. OJ, and you get to talk to him. You know, him. fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been a quiet, awkward moment. OJ. If he hadn't done anything. No one has any dinner pa- dinner party banter. For Everyone's like, quiet, years. looking around. There's nothing yeah, to say. Sure. There's nothing to fucking say yeah. until Trump gets elected. True. And which is boring. As it shit. was boring until Trump. How about this? Here's a question: No OJ, no Trump as president. Yeah, I'm comfortable saying that. Yeah, probably easy. in yeah. a weird easy, way. Easy. Butterfly because it, it just made yeah, everything yeah. so ridiculous. Yes, yeah, yeah. And people were like used to anything. Happening. No Obama for sure. Huh? No Obama presidency for sure. If OJ wasn't fucking, there. I could see that too. Because oh, know, if Trump, no, then then no Obama, yeah. at all. I could see that. Yeah. Well, Trump wouldn't have happened without Obama, but Obama yeah. wouldn't have happened without OJ. Yeah. No, but in all, we're honesty, doing back to the future shit now. Yeah, this is let's, the, the, the let's, picture of Obama. I have a poly, poly, <laughs> poly, a fucking Polaroid photo of Obama is just disappearing yeah. as I'm looking let's, at it. Let's let's write a butterfly effect two, and it's yeah. about the there, OJ there trial. is a two, but I would I love that idea. Three. Let's write I think it. There's a three. But listen, a four. Whatever the <laughs> no next McVay, one is. No McVeigh. No Obama. Yeah. No McVeigh. No 9/11. Who's time traveling though? Who's the one going back and trying to? Oh, you know who it is? McVeigh. No, no, no. <laughs> it is Cato Kalin. <laughs> yeah, Kato Kalen. Yeah, he's yeah. a time traveler. Who used to run the a comedy mics. show? Yeah. Oh, an open micer. We knew Cato. <laughs> uh, that's I met Cato. Uh, yeah. Um, Let's copyright that. But uh, yeah, man. I don't know. Uh, it, to be you know, and honestly, like I feel fucking uh, my. I feel uh, the Goldman family. It's like one of the hardest things to ever watch is, uh, you know, watching like any footage of that and uh, them go through what they're going through or what they went through. And um, it's horrible. It's it's really it's like unbelievable what he did. I don't buy it. Um, but uh, well, how do you think, uh, yeah. Joey? I don't think you get you get Al Cowlings. You guys know Al Cowling? Nope. No. His best friend, OJ's best friend. The guy the guy that was in the in the white Bronco that was calling the cops in the okay. chase. He was driving. Or was OJ he was driving. Yeah, OJ yeah. was in the back with, yeah. the, with the gun to his head, but it was like fake. Um probably. And uh I don't know, the other day I could, I just couldn't stop thinking of like like Al Cowling's was like the only guy that like will show up to his funeral. The only guy that like still likes him because he was just so he just loved him. He was just his best yeah. friend of all time, and he was a good guy, Al Cowlings. So I kept picturing Al, Al Cowlings calling the morgue like two days ago and being like, "Is OJ there?" And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like who is this?" And like, he's like, "Put him on a full horn up to his ear." He goes, "He goes, you know who this is? God damn it! <laughs> this is AC. <laughs> who else would it be?" <laughs> It's AC, goddammit! And they're like, sir, it's 2024. You are old news. <laughs> Man. Well, 
You know, rest in piss, bozo. <laughs> rest in power. Take actually. a look at him. Rest in piss, bozo. <laughs> rest in piss. <laughs> rest in piss. Oh, that's funny. You are one of the worst people to ever live. You're gonna regret it. American history. You're flip flopping all over the yeah, place, yeah, buddy. You're like up with little you, John Kerry over here. That's why, because nobody could fucking nobody could fucking get their hands around me. They, I know how to. <laughs> You're nab- slippery. slippery. As I, I know. Shit. I'm a <laughs> slippery fuck. I know how to navigate. You're a anywhere. greased they, pig they, over I, here. I can navigate any fucking road. Okay, they call me Debbie Traverse. <laughs> 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 so uh, anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, yeah. Let's get on to the Patreon. Uh, come to Live, Laugh, Love. Come to my show. Uh, well, I'll be it'll there. be, I, when this comes out Monday, it'll be this Saturday. So come this Saturday, 420. You can buy tickets on my Instagram. Yeah. The-T1000chess.com. Playing a lot of chess lately. I'm going to make a chess club. It's going to be big. And also, if you don't play chess, make an account and add me. We'll play. Yeah. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, don't uh, no, don't, don't look into this guy me. next to me. Don't give a fuck about me. Just leave me the fuck alone. John unfollow Badman, John Badman. Two D's. Unfollow him, Go to his, uh, you t- uh, his uh, Instagram account, John Badman with two Ds. Uh, click unfollow. unfollow. Yeah. And then send him a message about how uh, horrible he's been lately on the show. <laughs> I, I kick ass. <laughs> I'm killing it, dude. <laughs> you got to get Fridays off, by the way, soon. Shut up, pussy. I'll do what I want. You also dissociate like throughout the show constantly. It's kind of crazy to watch. I thought I was great today. <laughs> you you were okay. I was good. You, you know what? It's like it's like there's this fine fucking line. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing. Yeah, no. Connor said okay. Let's fucking you know, end I'm this. I'm not shit. doing this. I'm not doing this shit. Yeah. I kick ass. Uh, patreoncom slash podcast. Check us out. Please help us. Uh, we will. Uh, please please help us. Um. I think in June I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some equipment. We'll we'll start uh we'll do the the movie shit and we'll do a I think a bar hangout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll uh at the best bar on earth. We'll uh we'll podcast from a bar. I think we we'll, we can do it at other places. Four twenty. And then no, if anyone gives if anyone gives a shit, it, but I've been well, here one a lot of people are coming. One a yeah. Well, one yeah, a anybody yes. that gives yeah, a shit for absolutely. Film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. What were you saying, Joe? Just the show. You, you yeah, plugged yeah, yeah, it, yeah. but I was saying I've been a lot of people have been talking to me yeah going like oh that's gonna be the big show and connor said that he's going to drop a few bucks and he's gonna buy weed he's gonna put he's gonna buy weed for everybody what? at the show and put mm-hmm. some weed under their chairs that's what like I said. oprah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 are you serious are you serious like dopra <laughs> 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 ended on that Let's that's go. come on yeah, yeah, jesus Bye.